time to say goodbye to our room, but not goodbye to New Orleans yet. Did I just say New Orleans? New Orleans. It's, it's New Orleans. Case is doing the double check. Go, Casey, go. I think we're good. Sweet. Welcome back to your daily dose, everybody. Oh, shoot. Do we have to work? Just dropped our bags off for uh, bell services. Now we're gonna go about our day. Got about uh, six hours to do some things. Last day is a rainy one. Sorry, it's humid out, guys. The reason why it's raining is because we still have that hurricane looming, so we're kind of getting some of the outer bands. Thankfully, no hurricane here, though. We didn't know where to go for breakfast. We were gonna figure something out. But one of you guys actually commented today to go to Stanley's. So we're gonna go to Stanley's. It's right uh, by the church where Kristen got married last oh, night. Yeah. So we're headed there. But most importantly today, we are going to the best museum in the world. Personally, my opinion, we're gonna be going to the World War II Museum here. Spent a couple hours there. It was $75 for the both of us. It's a breakfast, chill, and have a nice time at the museum. I will say if you guys missed yesterday's video, go check it out. One of the best weddings I think we've personally ever both been to it was so fun, so cool. Just to, just go go watch it, guys. You'll you'll want to see it yourself. Also had a good day before the wedding too. Straight ahead. This is where we were. Bummer. Rain puts the performers away. Yeah. But straight ahead is actually where we're going. I guess it's a day off for them. This is primarily where we like hung out, Jackson Square area. This is such a cool spot. I can't believe we were here last night for the wedding. Stanley. Thanks for whoever recommended this. It looked good. Uh, they also have something crazy on there. It looked like they had frog legs. <laughs> I kind of want to like try French it. French fried. French frog fried legs. fried legs. Frog legs. Frog legs. Uh, there's no way to reserve this. You just kind of have to show up. So let's see how long the wait time is. I feel like it might be a good time because it's almost lunch time. It's right here. It seems more like a breakfast. <laughs> no wait time for two. Bless feast, baby. Umbrella, yeah, that'd be bad. I'm sure we would know instantly. Honestly, just kind of coming here for, for the view as well. And then the food. Let's take a look. All right, breakfast I believe is served all day. They're only open till about three, and then uh, two thirty two on the weekdays. There, uh, where is it? Bananas Foster looked incredible. French toast. I think I might get that. Go a little bit different, and then we're gonna go very different to get those French fried frog legs. I gotta try, guys. I think I have to. I don't might not like it, but it's something I gotta try. Casey won't though. I will. Is it weird to say I'm excited to try frog legs? I don't know. I, I love seafood. I don't know if I'm a little frog though. I will say the culture here is kind of unreal because every server, everybody, actually I think pretty much here is wearing Saints attire. It's Sunday. It's game day. It's cool to see that. It really is. The attachment to the Saints here in New Orleans. I asked what the frog's legs look like and she's like, I can be descriptive so I'm not really going to tell you. I'm just going to surprise you with them. It's a rite of passage here, so I'm gonna try it. Probably not gonna like it, but apparently it tastes like chicken. Chicken, but not. You don't want to try any? I think I, I will be just fine without trying frogs. I'm okay. Kyle went to the bathroom and our waitress came over and she was like, are you gonna be trying the frog legs? And I, I told her no, and she's like, okay, then I'll tell you what they, what they look like. She's like, I didn't want to freak him out, but I'll tell you all about it. I'm. I'm good. I'm okay. <laughs> you know, it's a good thing that it's raining today because we've noticed none of the performers out. So if it's raining, kind of a bummer because it seems obviously no one's going to be performing, which is one of the like whole experiences of New Orleans. Meaning it's a good thing we already saw them. And if this was our only day, it kind of just would have been a, a bummer. Honestly, it looks like chicken legs. I didn't think it was going to be this like big. I thought it was going to be smaller, like small frogs, but I guess they got those big frogs here in the bayou. I mean, if you watch Tiana's movie, man, we're eating the frogs in there. That's kind of sad. But uh, I'm going to try it. And then I got Bananas Foster, which looks absolutely incredible. And yeah, 
What do you guys think? Would you guys eat these frog's legs? I'm gonna give it a go. In case you just got basically the norm. Is that grits? Yeah. Grits. Bacon and eggs. Alright, let's let's give it a go. Frog leg. Comment down below, would you guys have this? You ready, Case? Fine. Oh, really good. Kind of is like, oh, I know what this is and I know what I'm eating now. So sort of kind of like, ooh. Tastes like chicken. Not bad, but I'm kind of disgusted because of what it is. It's really not bad. It almost kind of has like no flavor to it. Like chicken has more of a flavor. This is just kind of like, I don't know how to describe it. It's really not bad. I prefer chicken wings though. Best thing about this dish is the potato salad. This is some good flipping potato salad. I can't eat more, Just it's just kind of what it is. Can't kind of get past it, but it doesn't really taste bad. It really doesn't at all. And uh, sorry if that disgusts you. I know my mom's gonna be like, you're such adventurous, Kyle. You're so, I can't believe it. <laughs> I love her server. What did she just do? She just like approached, kind of like she was afraid to come over here. She's like, how you doing? What do you think? <laughs> She's hilarious. Yeah, everyone's really friendly here. Now, Banana Foster, we'll, uh, we'll give this a go. This honestly is, looks incredible. So healthy too. Very healthy. I'm telling you, if I ever get bored in Orlando for a day, I'm gonna fly to New Orleans just for food, just for dinner, and then fly back, or I guess for lunch. Like this food is just some of the best in the world. Still raining out. What a great breakfast though. It was really good. Good service, like they're so friendly in there. Highly, highly recommend Stanley. And thanks for uh, the person who actually commented that on uh, Sunday's video. We went because of you. Thank you. We're gonna walk all the way to the World War II Museum. It's about a five minute difference. It's not raining that heavily. So we kind of just want to be one with the streets and walk, even though our ankles are killing us last night from dancing. But this was one of my bucket list items. I've already been here. And if you guys are new around here and you don't know, I'm a huge World War II guy. I, uh, I love the history of it, the greatest generation, honestly, to ever live. And I just can't kind of wait to go back in there. It's a perfect day for the museum as well, because it's raining out. Kind of planned this perfectly without even knowing. Wow, ballerina. <laughs> Traffic downtown is horrible. 25 minute walk, not bad, not bad. And we are here. Where did we go in? I don't know. Maybe this? I think we have to walk across there somehow. So I think right here. Perfect day for this. A little wet, but we should we should be okay. My hair looks like crap, but look good. Hey, bought the tickets in advance. Let's go in. Wow! Oh wow! Now I believe the reason why they have this here is because they actually manufactured the landing boats. Let me see if this is why. It was either because they made these here or because this is where a lot of, of those in the military were stationed and then shipped overseas. Well, welcome to the greatest generation. What I mean by that, it is because they're the greatest generation, <laughs> literally. This boat is a lot bigger in person than you see in, in the movies. By you to the battlefield, Andrew Higgins. Oh, it just tells you about his 
You phoning somebody? You phoning a friend? Oh, so you can hear. There you go. Let's head on in. We almost walked in without scanning our tickets. We would have gotten kicked out real fast. <laughs> I saw all these people with these little yellow tags. I wasn't sure what it was. There we go. There we go. Is mine on? I can't yeah. tell. It is? Uh -huh. Okay. Feels like it's gonna fall off. Alright, let's go have some fun. Let's go learn some stuff. I'm gonna learn a lot today. There's actually quite a lot of people here. It's not the best museum for nothing. There are so many people here. And freezes Japanese assets to cripple their war making ability. To project strength, the year before, President Roosevelt moved the Pacific Fleet from San Diego to Hawaii, 2,000 miles closer to Japan. Are these actual newspapers? I think it is. I have something like this at home. I actually have a book with all of the newspapers printed in America at the time of the war. This is interesting that they actually show this because you usually talk about Germany with the propaganda, but they're talking about the US actually in their own propaganda. You guys can read that, that's interesting. I've never seen this. You could buy this and you could send these to like your kid in the army. Some fun entertainment if you if you will. In February of 1942, bowing to the hysteria unleashed by Pearl Harbor, President Roosevelt signs Executive Order 9066, permitting the government to uproot Japanese Americans and place them in internment camps. Believe it or not, this isn't packed from what we've been experiencing. Maybe not come on a Sunday or a rainy day, but we're still we're still learning. So it's a joy to be here, honestly. These are innovations. How do you take a refrigerator to a machine gun? I didn't. That's crazy. Pretty cool to see what they actually had and what they made it to for Warbound. Gun type of trigger mechanism is going to work. But the plutonium bomb has a more challenging trigger design, an implosion that bursts inward to compress the plutonium until it explodes. TNT creates a light so intense it causes temporary blindness as far as nine miles away. The blast so hot it scorches the desert floor, turning it into a glassy mineral, later named trinitite. Haha, -ha. here it is. The landing craft vehicles were designed and crafted here. <laughs> I got nothing. I'm just a kid in a candy shop. He really is. I'm learning a lot today, too. German military outfit, infantryman, 1944. Things about the Germans, they had a lot of everything, which was also with, which was also one of the big problems that led to their demise. They had so many variants of different things, which made it really hard to produce. And um, the Allies, we kept it really simple, very easy to make guns, uniforms. The Germans loved a variety of everything, which made it a production mess. Fun fact. Best way to learn, come to museums. What do you think so far? You learning? I am learning a lot. Um, now, this stuff is more intriguing definitely to Kyle than to me. However, I am actually learning a ton. This is a really nice museum. There's a lot of videos and a lot of um, like cool exhibits, I guess you can say. I think, it's, I think it's pretty cool. On to the next. Looks like we're going to the Pacific Theater now.
is really cool. We were so young and so stupid, and we had no concept of what war was supposed to be like. Oh, these are real. This is like one of the coolest museums. Yeah. Pacific War. It all ends with with the nuke. We're about to see that. I don't know what I'm all showing you guys as we are kind of here primarily kind of just learning. It's really kind of just fascinating to be here for the second time, learning more about the war and, and seeing it all. Highly recommend this. It is, it is something else. It really is. Looks like they changed the color of their hats. I have a black one that they no longer have. We just learned tomorrow, tomorrow's uh, Veterans Day, on Monday, you guys are gonna see this in the future, they actually have a couple World War II vets coming here to uh, see their museum. Pretty cool. We are a day too early for that, though. Japanese sneak attack on Pearl Harbor. The producer of the Bob Hope Take Radio that. Show suggested that he take the program out of its Hollywood studio to broadcast one show. This is Bob Hope. Bob Hope is the one who actually went overseas, or one of the acts that went overseas to entertain all the soldiers over there. Lots to learn. You know, without this generation, guys, who knows, we might not even have the world that we live in today. I feel like it's a lot of your response. I don't know, this is a hard thing to say. Not a hard thing, but like it's a heavy thing to say. I think it's everyone's responsibility to learn about World War II. Really, he's just come to this museum. Because if it wasn't for the greatest generation, we wouldn't be here today. Gosh, Casey wanted to do this. Why am I actually pressed here? Came all the way to the top. It's kind of low. This was Casey's idea. It's like we're on a cruise. Pretend we're on a cruise. That's all you gotta do. Oh my gosh. Why is that making work? Because it's high. <laughs> I feel like I'm soaring. <laughs> it's very high. I don't like this. It's the Flying Fortress. I'm actually terrified up here. Terrified. That's cool. Open the hatch. Open the hatch. Engage radar. I didn't expect that. I have to look at it. We've been hit. Oh no. We're hit. Time flies by when you're at a museum having fun. We're gonna head to start back to our hotel area just because of the fact that we have a flight to catch tonight and uh, we don't wanna miss that. It's almost four o'clock, we have four hours, but you know, we'd rather be on the safe side, get a little snack here, maybe sit down and then just head to the airport. We could also go back to the hotel, grab our luggage, go to the airport and just spend some time in there because they had like nice sit down restaurants. What would, what would be better? <laughs> you guys will find out soon. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really cool experience. I'm happy that we did that. And it was a great activity for a rainy day. We had already done a lot of the things we wanted to do on days one and two. So I'm happy we attended. Norwegian getaway I think is here. You didn't know some cruises cruise out of New Orleans and we are by this beautiful building headed back trying to find somewhere to eat we've decided to eat in the hotel there's a restaurant here change of plans it's closed with that we have decided now to just go to the airport to eat it's just too loud in this lobby it's crazy. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize I have this thing still on. Okay. 60 bucks to go to the airport and it's gonna take about an hour. So good thing we're leaving now. With this standstill traffic, I feel like we're in New Orleans, or sorry, 
<laughs> like New York. He's almost here. Come on, Brett. Gosh, y'all, I don't even think I told you who we're flying. We're flying Breeze home. We've done this once from California. This is gonna be like the second time trying Breeze. We really enjoyed Breeze, because it was a Breeze. No pun intended, it actually really was. So we'll see how it is. We're here about three hours early. Gonna have some overpriced dinner. Hopefully it'll be good. I know, I love mine too. Let's go on in. What's the best, your bays? The bays, yeah. Uh, the bays bags. Gonna see a lot of people flying home from the game. Woo, it's cold in here. Hey, isn't it beautiful? It's nice. On a scale of 1 to 20, how cold are you? That it's chilly. Are they doing live music right there? They are doing live music on there. Why is TSA pre so long? Oh my gosh. I feel like everybody these days has TSA pre check. Six minute TSA. Lovely, let's go eat. Let's go figure out where we should eat. 8.08, on time. What time is it right now? I think it's 5. 5.40, okay, we should probably go eat. <laughs> mando, a mando. They're playing Wheel of Fortune, I, I trust this place. Cafe du Monde, we'll get some beignets to go on the plane. We're going to the Wheel of Fortune place. It sold us, I don't know what they have, but Wheel of Fortune sold us. All we needed to know. That's all we needed. Hey Mondo, uh, it's time to eat at a Mondo. We are just so indecisive today. They had bad reviews, so we're just <laughs> we might just go to Shake Shack. I don't know what's going on at this point. Leah's it is. Just kidding. And they said a 20 minute wait. So we're gonna go to the Midway, which has pizza, eats, and spirits. So far our experience with airport food here, it's a hot mess express. Every, everybody seems really disorganized. So we definitely made a mistake by not eating downtown, but it is what it is. Shake Shack, <laughs> it is. So glad we decided to eat at the airport. Shake Shack, baby. Definitely can't get this in Florida. Nope. I have not eaten since this morning at 11. Feels like quarter to midnight right now. The only thing, oh. The best thing about today is the Bears lost. That's the best thing about today? Oh yeah, one of the best things. Fries are banging. Wow, these fries are great. These fries don't even need ketchup. Holy these crap. These look good. I got a double burger. This is gonna smack. Holy cow. Mm. I love my life. Mm -hmm. We got beignets for dessert. Not as good as the, the ones no, downtown. But... It does the trick though. Better than the ones we can get in Florida. I feel like this place cleared out. There's not many people left. I guess everyone was going to Jacksonville, Florida. Yeah, this whole place is empty. If you guys remember my last trip here, we flew out at night. We like had this whole terminal to ourselves. You would have had to been watching for at least two years. I believe that was in 2022. Is that when I went to Mardi Gras or is it 2021? I think it was 2022. Late night flights require original eyeballs, not fake eyeballs. Shout out to Active Breeze, we're actually boarding earlier. I love Breeze Airlines. Please have your <sighs> also, shout out to, I forgot his name, uh, the guy who, uh, the maintenance guy. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Maintenance guy for Breeze. There's Casey. We had different zones. She said go ahead. 
breeze is seriously amazing. Second experience, greatness. All right, tradition. Always, always, always got to touch the plane. Must do. Those are nice seats. Oh gosh, so nice. Chargers here. Kind of a look at the the seats. Let's we'll see how comfortable they are, but they're definitely comfier than Spirit. That is for for sure. And you can see it's two and then three. And here comes Case. Hello. <laughs> I got you. There's a Spirit airline um, flight attendant non-rubbing on here. And she goes, I love this airline. <laughs> it's so funny. I mean, who doesn't? This, this is really nice too. This actually goes up and down. I'm telling you, Breeze Airline, try it out. Exits have slides that can be used in a non-water landing. If there's a loss of electri electric power, floor level emergency lighting will guide you to the exits. All exits are clearly marked with the green one. to the gate after 25 minutes of just chilling on the runway. Oh, one of my biggest pet peeves was just broken. I cannot understand how people just cannot wait their turn. You know, those who like just stand up that are behind you and then just get on out. I think it's the rudest thing ever, honestly. Like five people behind us just standing in to just say, bye, don't even, it's, God, it's the rudest thing ever. Anybody else agree? Who was oh yeah. She's like, I'm gonna stop this. <laughs> mm hmm So rude. Biggest pet peeve. Not gonna let it ruin our flight though. Our flight experience, 10 out of 10. Except for we were th on the ground for 30 minutes. It wasn't our fault there was a flight, or there was a plane entering gate. But we're here now. We're back home. We're tired. It's midnight. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow you know when you've been gone for a while too you you you, you smell what your house actually smells like and i actually really enjoy it, it smells like a brand new house it smells good see you guys